Hard to see now because now people like see how important emotion is as as a shaper of rational behavior and processes, and we know now that it is integral to rational decision making and interaction and um, you know pretty much most of our daily social lives. But at the time, it was seen as that which was fluffy and made us irrational, and it was the last thing you would want to put in a computer. I remember showing up at one of my hardcore computer vision pattern recognition conferences shortly after this, and you know I had you know given a number of presentations there and had been very successful with my content-based retrieval work, and I remember some people whispering behind my back, going, "Have you heard what she's working on now?" You know, like <laughs> like like suddenly I had gone off the deep end, and maybe they didn't want to you know walk up and talk to me anymore. Uh, but I believed what I was doing was going to really help give some new insights that would be important. And I, um, I'm pretty stubborn when I, once I'm convinced by the facts, which took me a while. I did a ton of reading before I was convinced. Uh, once I'm convinced, I'm, I'm pretty stubborn. So I forged ahead with it. And I remember um, being really happy about five years later going back to this conference. And one of those people who had you know, been like really aghast at my stuff, came up and said he wanted to start working on it and he wanted to know if he could have some of my data. <laughs> so it was like, yes, they're coming around. It just takes time. Well, some of them are still warming up to the idea. <laughs> I've had some colleagues come up to me and they look at my feet and they go, Roz, I can't understand why you're wasting your time working on emotion. Emotion doesn't matter. It's just noise. You know, we're interested in the signal, not the noise. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, well, at least they're looking at my feet, not yeah. theirs, right? If they're looking at my feet, they're extroverted, right? If they're looking at their feet, they're introverted. Um, so there are a lot of people in our community who really don't get emotion, and they don't see that it does anything other than get in the way. Uh, so it may still take a long time to convince them. Some may never be convinced. Um, meanwhile, a lot of people have seen that you can now begin to measure part of this, you can now test for how it influences things. It has powerful influences, even in very rational decision-making, economic judgments, um, of course in behavioral choices, uh, of course in social interaction. And I guess behavioral economics have helped make your case, you know, by, by yes. kind of like destroying yeah. the, the rational man model. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and not just that. You know, a whole bunch of affective neuroscience. You know, I'd say there's just been a, a huge surge in uh, good research on emotion in the last several decades. Right. So thank you very much for, for coming, you know, to Cambridge Days today. Yes. <laughs> it, was, it was a pleasure learning about your work, learning about your life, and I look forward, you know, to see you again in the future. Thank you, Cesar. This is a pleasure. Thanks. Crystalline water keeps coming. Seeking the castles of sand, how's that for a price? And